What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of the Daily Crap and in today's item shop, let's see, we got Loki bundle, we got the Sylvie whatever blah 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 bundle, we got this lady in here, what do we got, we got Black Widow outfit, Iron Man Zero bundle, we got the Star Lord outfit, Gamora, Thanos, Scarlet Witch, we got the Silver Surfer bundle, they still ain't got the wrapper the bundle, but holy o's. We got the Rogue and Gambit bundle. We got Dark Phoenix, Psylocke. Terminator bundle. Yennefer. We got the Siri. We got Deja Cat's locker bundle. With joy and bundles. We got Emote Crap. FNCS crap, so we got the Z5S2 and the Z5S1 and the Global Championship 2023 bundle. We got Titan, Hotwire, Night Hair, Snugs, Arc, Pillar, Flutter, Renegade, Galaxy Grappler bundle. We got the Perseus Level Up Quest back. So we got our Star Wars crap. We got the AWR Trooper. We got Luke. Dagobah Luke. Lando Calrissian. We got our best car crap. We got some car crap. We got Han and Leia. We got a Storm Trooper and Boba Fett. Rise of Skywalker pack. Everything sold separately. Kylo Ren, Zori Bliss. We got Gear for Festival crap for Star Wars. We got Lego Kick Crap. Yeah, I see they keep playing with these prices on this Lego Kick Crap. They need to make up their mind on, on what price they're going to put. See, that's starting to become annoying and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously. Because, like, if you need to put it on a price. And, and I'm trying to notice if they're doing this with the other stuff in the store. But, but these Lego kits... It's like the prices have done changed off and on. Make up your mind, Epic, on how much you want to charge for this overpriced bullshit. Distro bundle. The Massamoon bundle. Got some more car accessory crap. We got the Billy Badass bundle. So we got the Royale bundle. We got some gear for festival crap. We got more jam tracks. At least the jam tracks are consistent. At least they charge the same overpriced shit for these songs. I mean, for what little you can do with them, I mean, honestly, they shouldn't really be charging past 50 or 100 V-Bucks for this shit. I think 500 a song is way entirely too much overpriced. I wouldn't go past a hundred on a song. You got the Anarchy Acres bundle. Everything sold separately with Grimbles. You got the Lazy Man 25 level jump in the festival pass. If you don't see Lazy Man 25 level jump, you'll see the Fortnite battle pass for 950. You also have the Chewbacca for 1400 with some Lego crap in it. You got the Fortnite crew <clears throat> and legacy set crap that seems to want to be spinning. I guess let's see if we go in and come back out. There we go. Now you can see it. Now you can see the thumbnail. So now you got the Back to the Future looking like you started Quest Pack. You got the Guardians of the Galaxy Pack still on sale for 1942. So I believe that's what they were charging for it yesterday. So um, somewhere in that ballpark anyway. So it, it's still... Decently priced. Got the perfect execution pack, Venomin 2.0 pack. You got the Operation Bright Starter pack. And that looks like that concludes everything in today's episode of the Daily Crap. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Like and subscribe to help the channel out. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one, everybody.